Welcome back, everyone. Donnie's here to talk about a nasty ingredient or a couple nasty yeah. ingredients that's in chocolate that you may not yeah. know about. You know, sometimes there's food manufacturers that their their bottom line is the bottom line. It doesn't matter right. what the consumer wants or needs or what's healthy. You know, they want to cut corners just as much as other people do. So Right, anything to save a dime. Yeah, in the chocolate industry, there's this emulsifier that they put in place of the actual raw cocoa. Mm -hmm. And it's got this chemical name that I have a hard time pronouncing. And my rule of thumb is, if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't be eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good idea, or if it's uh, some abbreviation that you've never right, heard Right, and of. that's what this is. It's mm -hmm. PGPR, polyglycerol, poly something else. Mm -hmm. and, and what it does, like I said, it takes the place of the natural ingredient in chocolate and it makes it cheaper for the chocolate manufacturers to make. But what I've brought today are some actual healthy uh, options for chocolate that are, they don't have that ingredient in it and they're actually good for you. And then okay. we're also going to make a very inexpensive uh, mocha latte that you can make at mm. home. If one of your New Year's resolutions is to save money while you're eating healthy, this is the ticket. Okay. So here's some of our healthy chocolate options. Ghirardelli has these lovely chocolate squares. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like bittersweet chocolate, you're not going to like any of these because these chocolates are the dark, dark, dark bittersweet chocolate that don't have any sugar but in them But those are all. the chocolates that are good for those you. Those are though. the ones that are good for you. They don't. These don't have any unnatural ingredients mm -hmm. in them. They're all uh, full of antioxidants. They're good for brain health. Just a little bit of this chocolate once a day is enough for, for good brain health and get those antioxidants flowing in your body. So if you're a chocolate lover, there is an excuse to eat chocolate, but Absolutely. you've got to eat the right kind. None of the milk chocolate no, or anything No, not milk else. chocolate. Dark chocolate only, and the darker the better. At least 85% cocoa, mm -hmm. uh, if you can handle it. Now, this is my favorite. This right here is 90% cocoa, and this one is super, super bitter, but it's very, very good for you. So there's lots of yeah. options out there. I've had that one before, and if you've never had one that dark, I would suggest going back a little bit yeah. in the percentage wise and work your it's way to it. But intense. you can work your way to that and then it, it tastes fine and then the other ones have a tendency to taste too sweet once you've gotten right. used to those darker chocolates. Right. Well now let's talk about healthy mocha lattes that are inexpensive. Okay. Okay. This has ingredients in it that each one ingredient by itself is less mm -hmm. expensive than one mocha latte that you would buy at a coffee specialty shop. Wow. So I've got real cocoa here. Mm -hmm. We've got real organic cane juice sugar. We've got organic half and half. And then this is HEB's brand of uh, coffee that you can use in a Keurig. And Keurig is wonderful. If you don't have one, this is one of the best kitchen gadgets ever. So I've already made some French roast coffee. Okay. And what you want to do, if you're a sweet tooth, you'd want to use a little bit more. But this is about a tablespoon. We're going to put a tablespoon, a good heaping tablespoon of our organic cane juice sugar. Now this is the cocoa powder, this is the real stuff, mm -hmm. okay? Smell that. Yeah, it smells Doesn't good. Doesn't that smell great? It's too it bad we don't have smell a vision Right? <laughs> now you wanna take a pretty good scoop of this, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is a fresh, hot, steaming cup of coffee here. And now does it matter what kind of coffee you brew It for doesn't this? matter. I mean, if you like the, the darker Kona coffees, you know, something really strong and robust, you can use that. If you like something a little bit lighter, this is a French roast, or if you like something even, you know, a little bit lighter than that, just whatever your preference is. Okay. Then a little bit of our organic half and half. Now, this is another wonderful kitchen gadget. This is called an Aero Latte. What it does, it runs on batteries, and oh, it nice. stirs up for you, and it will actually froth the milk for your latte. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try not Too to make a mess here. That, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it smell great? It does. Too bad you guys can't smell it. Too yeah. bad you can't see this stirring and thing operate. And it's nice operate. and frothy, That's cool. just like yeah. a latte that you would get at one of your local uh, local coffee specialty mm -hmm. shops. But like I said, each one of these ingredients here, these four ingredients, costs less than this size of coffee that you would purchase at one of the shops. So and you can make save several money, out absolutely. of that. So. This right here, this is 12 servings, mm -hmm. and it was about $6. Uh, this cocoa will go a long way, and of course the sugar will go a long way too. So, right. you want to give it a taste like, test? Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll be the guinea pig. It sure smells good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm going to take this with me now. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that you can is very, very add good. To it if you want caramel topping or some, you know, chocolate syrup, you can add that to it as well. Yeah, and you could increase or decrease the amount of chocolate depending on how much chocolate you really like. But this right. is this is perfect for me. This tastes great. Great. Thank you so much, Donnie.